Hi, in our today's video, we will see how you can use the bank statement to quickly create new transactions, knock them off against invoices or bills, or match the transactions with existing deposits or payment that you would have already created in Descara books. We have made the process simpler and intuitive with our recent update. There are multiple use cases that you can now manage with the updated process. We will look at each of these use cases one by one. Before we do that, you need to make sure that your bank is connected with your bank account. Or you would have imported the bank transactions using the import utility that we have provided in the bank section. Once your bank statement is available, you can quickly start working on them to create new transactions. Let's look at each of the use cases. Click on bank. I'll select a particular bank. Under the bank transactions, you get to see all the transactions that have auto synced or if you would have imported them using the Excel utility, they will also appear here. Now the first use case allows you to create expenses or deposits from your bank statement. Let's pick up first one. Since this is a withdrawn transaction, you will be able to create expense. If this would have been a deposit. The system would have prompted you to create a deposit. Select the right expense. Set the contact. The date gets auto populated. You can change the payment method. You can categorize it into a particular account. I select this category. The amount is auto populated. Now, in case you need to split this amount into multiple categories or accounts, you can click on split. This allows you to select multiple accounts over here. For now, I'll go ahead and save this. This gets created and the status is matched. You can undo this by clicking on unmatch. Let's look at the second use case. Now, in case there is an invoice or a bill that you have created in Deskera, for which let's say the customer makes a payment, right? Let's click on match for this transaction. So there is an invoice for 14,000. Let's see if there are any invoices available for this deposit. So the system tells you that there is an invoice of the same contact with the same amount. So there's an exact match. You can select this. You can match this. Now this will do multiple actions. Firstly, it will knock off this deposit against this invoice. So the invoice gets paid and it also allows you to reconcile this. I click on match. This is also done. The status has been changed to matched. Let's look at another use case. Let's say you have an invoice for let's say amount X, but the deposit that you receive is a little less, less than X or that might happen due to any transaction fee or bank charges or any charges that the third party may have taken. Let's see how we can manage these use cases. I click on match over here. I click on find invoices to match. There's no exact match because there's a difference between the invoice amount and the deposit that you get. Click on view more matches. You can filter the screen by date. You can also search via contact. Now this is a particular transaction of the same contact with a nearby amount. I click on manage. The system auto populates the difference. You can select the fee account. Or this can be bank charges or any other fee that you want to select. You click on save. This also gets matched. You can always click on unmatch to undo this action. Let's look at the third use case. Let's say there are some deposits or expenses that you would have already created in Deskera and you simply want to match them against the bank transactions. Simply click on match. You will see various deposits that are already there in Deskera against which you can match. In the case of withdrawals, you will see expenses. So for this particular amount and this particular pay, I see this matches perfectly. I select this. And I click on match. Now, once you are done with this screen, that is, you have created the transactions, or you would have knocked them off against bills or invoices, or you would have matched existing deposits, you can click on start reconciliation and complete the reconciliation step. So, this way, the process of making transaction is now far easier from the bank statements. Do try this out. Thank you.